Hey guys, welcome back to Chop Toys. It's another past build. Built this one oh, about four or five years ago. It's a 63 or 64 Tonka straight side. This was a newer addition to their lineup in the in the mid 60s. They started having the straight side beds, and as you can see, they kind of lined up with the uh, with the cabs. Not great. The cab, the uh, bottom edge rolls out, and the bed, of course, it rolls in. It looks looks a little more scale, a little more realistic. This one was in pretty good shape. Um, it's all original except for the windshield. I put a new window in it. Um, the grill, I, th eh, I think I polished that one. It's been sitting for a while. I don't even have it riveted on. It's just kind of popped in there. Because like I said before, none of my builds were ever really finished. But um, this one's kind of the, the bag to body drop look. These trucks aren't worth a whole lot in original condition. It's not the uh, the most popular body style. It's kind of a straight long bed, but I don't know. I have I have several of them in various conditions, and this one was probably the best looking, so I went ahead and chopped it up. Um, I'll show you more about the suspension here in a minute, or the <laughs> the axles. There's really no suspension on these things, but um, yeah, the sixty three sixty four had this four headlight configuration with one piece grill and bumper that pops in and rivets through. Um, and again, not the most desirable year, but they're still very similar to the to the 57, 58, 59, 60. Um, they're supposed to look like the square Fords of the town, but uh, not not quite as detailed as the uh, Nylant brand trucks were. But it does roll. It does drag, but it does roll. <laughs> That was kind of one of the rules I set anytime I would lower or customize one of these trucks is that I wanted it to still kind of roll, no matter how low it was. But um, let me show you the back side. You can see this one doesn't have a tailgate. I don't think it had one when I got it. I painted the inside of the bed black to kind of mimic a bed liner and just to seal up some of the edges that I cut. You can see that, that one tire is fully exposed. Uh, my axle mounts, it's an interesting thing, those are steel wire like cable clamps you can buy them at home depot in various sizes so if you have something hanging with steel cable and you double the end over and you clamp it with those and it's got bolts on the other side so i mounted that to the frame and it holds my axles perfectly <laughs> just uh that was back when i was working at a hardware store and i ran across things like that and uh you know find a find a purpose for everything um, I did make a little wooden box, kind of nicked it up, and I stained it a little bit. It's not permanently attached, but it was like a uh, little toolbox for the back. It does have a a hinge in it. Nothing special, just something back there. I don't know, remember exactly why I did that. But uh, this truck's got the original tail lights on it. Uh, you can see the original tow hitch. <coughs> Excuse me. Now this one is lowered on nylent wheels again. Nylon had a little bit smaller wheel with a scale Ford hubcap, and uh, I, I opted for those a lot on my custom builds because they're well, at least a quarter inch shorter than the, the standard Tonka tire, and to get a truck this low, you had to uh, had to have a smaller tire. It just wouldn't work otherwise. Here you can see the underneath. Um, well, it looks like it's been burned. I'm not sure where that's from, but uh, yeah, those those are just basically U bolts with a shackle type bracket that clamp the wires together and I just use them to hold the axle and you clamp it down to a certain tightness and the axle will still spin, tires will still spin and everything works out great. Um, it's a little snug up here you can see there's not much room. These trucks the edge of the fender had a little more meat inside of it. I probably could have trimmed that back a little bit but it does clear it doesn't hit even though it's very snug but um, these you have to trim the inside of the, 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 where the shaft goes into the wheel, where the axle goes into the wheel. Just so they'll fit flush up against the frame so you still can clear your, your fender there. But uh, yeah, just drill some holes, bolted those down, and put the axles on. You can see I've trimmed the uh, steps off the side. Even though these trucks with the square cabs didn't have a step, they still had the step made on the chassis. So it... Basically, very similar design to the the uh, early 50s Tonka trucks. Um, it also has part of it here where the uh, 
It was like a step underneath the edge of the bed, which is completely unnecessary with that style bed, but it still had it because the frames were kind of generic. And on that one, I just rolled the edge of it in and left it alone. But up under the cab, I cut it off completely because the, the cab sits just a little bit lower than the than the bed does. But um, yeah, I mean it's the same construction as the uh, older Tonka trucks. Nothing really exciting there. It's just a just a cool look. You see it from the front there. I don't have any rivets in there. It's just kind of uh, popped into place. Now, I'm pretty sure I, I had polished that one before. It's kind of got a satin satin finish to it because the uh, it probably had a lot of uh, oxidation. And I had to really polish it to get get it down. So it still looks good. It's been, like I said, four or five years since I I built that, and uh, it looks the part. I think those are new headlights. Um, I had a lot of reproduction parts from back in the day. Those look like uh, like newer units. But um, yeah, just thought I'd share this one with you guys. I appreciate you watching. Um, if you like the the custom truck look and uh, you know, this is kind of for you. That was always my thing growing up. We had bagged and body dropped and just lowered trucks. That was, I was in the car club. and So that still, still carry that with me. I like that, that kind of thing. But uh, it's hard to do in real life just because it's expensive. And, you know, you don't want to take a brand new truck and hack it up. <laughs> you do, but you, you really can't until it's paid for at least. But anyways, uh, yep. Thank you guys for watching and checking out Chop Toys. And uh, if you like any of that stuff in the background, check out my other channel. It's a link in the uh, at the end of the video here. It's all my RC builds, my custom rat rods and stuff. So, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.